Hi everyone, it's Maya from wholesomeyum.com and today I'm showing you how to cook bacon in the oven. You guys, I've made bacon every which way. I've made it on the stovetop, of course. I've made it in the air fryer. I've even made it in the microwave. I'll show you all these different methods down below as well. But bacon in the oven, I keep coming back to this method again and again. There are so many reasons to love this method for cooking bacon. It's super crispy, it's super easy, it's not greasy. You can cook a mountain of bacon at a time if you want to. And there's very little hands-on time. You pop it in the oven and you go do something else and before you know it, you have delicious crispy bacon for everybody to enjoy. You guys are gonna love this. If you've never cooked bacon this way before, don't worry, it's super easy. But also, if you have cooked bacon in the oven before, I have a special trick I'm gonna show you that makes it even crispier, even better. By the way, I love making simple, real food tutorials like this one. We've got bacon in the oven. I have vegetables coming up, chicken, super simple stuff. If you like simple recipes like this, be sure you subscribe so that you're notified as soon as I post more of these. But for now, let's cook some bacon in the oven. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is grab a large baking sheet I love this one because all the bacon can fit in a single layer. It can fit at least 12 slices, sometimes more. We're gonna line this with aluminum foil. I like to use this large piece of foil so that it folds over the edges for easy cleanup. If you wanna be extra careful, you can even line the other two edges as well so that it's all around. I keep it simple with just one piece of foil. Now the next part, and this is the secret to super crispy bacon, it's this rack. I love this thing. It's perfect for anything that you want to get crispy. I use it for chicken tenders, bacon wrapped asparagus, pretty much anything where that extra airflow will help. And this is the secret to bacon in the oven that's going to get nice and crisp. The fat is going to drip down and what you're going to be left with is this perfectly crispy bacon. So you're going to arrange the bacon in a single layer on this rack. The set actually goes together. You'll notice the rack fits perfectly into the baking sheet. I'll link down below where you can get both of these. So just make sure your bacon slices are not overlapping. If they overlap, then they're not going to cook evenly and that's super important. Next, it's time to bake. Bake the bacon at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and the time will depend on the thickness of your bacon. It's about 18 to 23 minutes for average bacon, 15 to 19 minutes for thin bacon, or 22 to 26 minutes for thick cut bacon. So just check on it and you can take it out when it's done to your liking. Once your bacon is done, take it out of the oven and another important step to getting it super crispy, you're gonna pat it dry with paper towels. This is gonna get rid of the excess grease and it's gonna help it get nice and crisp. Then you can carefully remove it from the rack. It does tend to stick a little bit sometimes. This rack does help because it's pretty non-stick some of the ones you can get are not non-stick at all and your bacon might stick to those, so just watch for that. This is the one I recommend. And you can see as I'm removing this, this bacon is already so crispy, it's almost like starting to break apart. But just do the best you can and I'm gonna remove these slices one by one. Usually by the time I take out the bacon and pat it dry, the rack has already cooled enough that I can remove the bacon right away. But if you need to, you can wait a couple minutes for it to cool as well. The pan will still be hot though, so just be careful with that. And now we're gonna save our bacon grease. This foil makes it super easy and convenient. We're just gonna tilt the pan and pour it into your favorite container. Now you'll be able to use the bacon grease for anything you like. You can use it in salad dressings. You can add it to stir fry vegetables. It does have a lower smoke point, so keep that in mind. It's not the best cooking oil, but it is nice to add at the end or for cooking at lower temperatures. And this foil trick makes for super easy cleanup. I'm just gonna fold in all the edges and our pan is almost clean. This is gonna be really easy to clean. See, I told you this was easy. We got a whole big plate of bacon, very little effort. One last trick here, after you've patted dry the bacon, after you've transferred it to a plate, let it cool down for just a few minutes. If you can't wait, I get it, you can dig in right away, but if you wait just a little bit, it's gonna get even more crispy and it's so worth it. I think mine is just about right now. Let's try one of these. Oh, it just breaks apart because it's so crispy. Not gonna lie, 
I could totally snack on this stuff. It's so good. Okay, but also I have to know, what are your favorite bacon recipes? Do you like it with eggs for breakfast? Do you like it on salads? I even put mine on chicken sometimes. I have some recipes for that on the blog as well. Let me know in the comments below how you like your bacon. And if you make this bacon in the oven, be sure to snap a photo. I really wanna see all your yummy creations. I hope you'll make this oven baked bacon soon. You are not going to regret this. See you next time on Wholesome Yum, where I share easy, healthy recipes, all with 10 ingredients or less.